Good evening. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. My name is Zuri Bibi, and I'm here with a musical message today. Actually, I had a musical message yesterday, but I kid you not, right during, almost near the end of the message, it was from Divine Masculine, my phone literally shut down. And it was hot. I mean, it was hot like it was about to explode. That's how it felt. And when I turned my phone back up, my video was gone. I kid you not. And that video, it was a good video. I was, I was in the zone. I was just channeling the message from Divine Masculine. And I mean, it was just flowing. And it's just gone. So I know that there is a spirit, an evil spirit, a jealous spirit, slew foot, you know, the old folks call them evil, jealous. It's a devil energy in the mist but like I say I put these things in God's hand and I'm gonna let him handle it and it's really funny because as I was preparing I know you can kind of you might be able to see some of the cards that's my hair that's in the you know my cards that are up here as I was shuffling the cards and getting the, everything prepared my phone shut down again. I wasn't even making the video at that point. I wasn't even doing the video. But my phone shut down and said it overheated. So. I'm asking that the angels come around. Ancestors. The, um, ascended masters. Archangels. Higher power. To come over this musical message i'm praying that um they will have their way and they will not let this video disappear because i kid you not it was over an hour oh, well not even an hour it was about 40 minutes 40 minutes just gone you know but i know that god heard it but anyway um What else do I want to talk about since I want to get rid of that? Um, today was kind of interesting. My mom went back, you know, out of, you know, I had my mom here with me for the past three weeks. And today she went back. Um, it was interesting, to say the least. Um, and I've talked about her a little bit during the, um, you know, during my videos, prior videos. Um, but it was interesting. Um, I ended up, um, I have a nephew that's running for Congress in the state of New York. I may talk about that a little bit more. Um, I was able to spend some time with him today. He had something going on here in this state. I'm not in New York, I, but I do have family in New York. Most of a lot of family in that state, so, um. When I really know, you know, a little bit more. I know he, I think he said District 13. So that's Harlem and all of that area. So, you know, once I really, you know, I may plug it every now and then, you know. But this is not that type of channel. Well, I, you know, I don't know what kind of channel this is yet. Because I'm being shown so many things. Um, social justice. I'm seeing all this stuff coming up and, um. It might pop up again, uh, you know. But anyway, let's get on with this. Um, I just want to get a feel for why the angels are watching over us. Why? Because that's what this message is about. The angels are our angels are watching over us. And I just want to know why. So I'm going to pull five of these cards to get just a little snippet of information 
and I may pull a tarot card to go with it just to get more information and then we'll see what the angels have to say afterwards and I do have some music playing in the background um, this is um, Richard Smallwood angels because that's that was as I was shuffling the cards I was gonna do something else I wasn't even gonna do a music message but as I began shuffling these cards, that song came in, it just came in my head. And so, that's what this is going to be. You know, I don't know, maybe this might be my thing. I might do a musical message every Saturday night or something like that. We'll see. Um, but anyway, let's see. What is the message? We have five cards. Five cards. Why are the angels watching over us? When I say us, it's the collective. So it's divine masculine and feminine. It's both of us, all of us. Now, if these cards turn upside down, I'm going to leave them like that until I'm done. Why are you watching over us? What's going on? And they're watching us. They said it. Okay, this one fell this way. I'm going to keep it that way. Why are they watching over us? Something about a main female. Come on. I know I'm being nosy. Oh, wow. Hmm. I'm going to put this one here and this one here. And I'm, a, I'm not going to do any um, reverses. So... Can I have one more? One more card. One more. Why are you watching over us? Why are you watching over us? What's going on? One more card. Can I have one more card, please? I know I'm being nosy. Oh, wow. Hey, fell out of my hand and I'm going to take it. False person. So let's see what's going on. Wow. Okay, the angels are watching over us because Divine Masculine is thinking about his main female and marriage and sudden wealth but there's this false person in the mix that's deep wow all right let's see what else what else i'm i guess i will be pulling these cards now i'm on i'll pull them for a little bit and then we're gonna get to the message oh he is in Divine Masculine has popped up. The Hierophant. Hello, Divine Masculine. I see you. Coming in. What's going on? Why are you watching over us? Angels, why are you watching over us? World card. Hmm. Oh, let's see. What else? What else? Okay, I'm going to take you. Death, transformation. Lovers. Okay, what else? All right, so, so far, the Hierophant, Divine Masculine, has shown up. He wants the world. He wants, he wants to have the world with his main female. And he wants to have marriage, so he needs to transform. So he can have this sudden wealth. 
and have, and to be with his lover, his divine feminine. But right now, there's a false woman, false person, let me say woman, that he is involved with, with these um, Eight of Pentacles. There's something about that. What's going on? What else? Any more of this story? What you want to say? Wow. So he's trying to get into his um, magician energy. He's trying to jump straight to that. What else? He's trying to do that. Anything else? Because he wants to have a new beginning with his divine feminine. But there's a tower going on. He, he, he's having a tower moment. Sorry if these cards are glaring. He's having a tower moment. And he needs that tower moment so that he can get in his king of cups energy. He wants to have his emotions because he's not hasn't been in his emotions. Let's see what else. Yeah, he got some hidden stuff going on, and it's it, it's funny because this card is falling under the false person. I kid you not. I was gonna stop, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit more. And I actually was not going to use this deck. I was going to use a different deck. But I'll, I'm going to keep with it because I didn't bring it out and I did not shuffle it. And it's a new deck. Right now, Divine Masculine is, has been eight of cupped. And he's trying to get out of that. He wants a new, he wants a new emotional beginning. He wants to focus on his Divine Feminine. Even though he's tied to this other false woman, he's still looking at divine feminine. Let's see what else. And that's why a tower moment is going on. You know, if, if he's gonna make a decision, he, he's gonna have to have a tower moment because he wants to have he wants to have his two of cups with divine feminine, not the false person. So he's going into hermit mode. Let's see what else is going on. Not only is he going in hermit mode, he is turned around. He is in hangman and hermit. He's going into deep, deep meditative state. Because he got a lot of he got a lot of things he's hiding here that he got to deal with. He got a lot of stuff. Now, understand divine masculine can be male or female. This, I'm talking about energies only. I'm only talking about energies. You know, when he comes out of this deep meditative state, he wants to start over. He wants to restart his fool's journey. See anything else before I move on? Oh wow! Wow! And when he, you know he's starting over, but he's dealing with his childhood issues. He's he's divine masculine is doing his inner child work. Finally, he's finally doing his inner child work. Any other car fall, I want to make sure I don't miss one. That's the only thing about being in this spot. I'm not in the spot that I, I may get a table. Who knows? But I like this. Let's see what else. So, while he's in his dealing with his inner child, He's doing it while he's surrounded by his enemies. That's why the angels are watching over us, especially him. The angels are watching over Divine Masculine because he got these jokers here fought over him. 
you know he's trying to, he's trying to deal with a lot right now a lot You know, he was in his meditative state, four cups. You know, he was trying to think about things. You know, he was thinking that uh, he didn't notice any of the cups. But while he's been in that meditative state, he's trying to figure out how he can fill the one cup with Divine Feminine. Because in the past, he was watering the others and... It was just a whole lot of mess. And while he's been in this hangman mode, he has understood that. That's why he wants to start over. Let's see. I'm almost ready to get out of this. Yeah, because he was, um. you can see what the card says, you know, shows. He was doing all that kind of stuff. Hanging with other people. However, his mind, even though he was slipping and sliding, ducking and hiding, because that's what it looked like, the divine feminine, you know, his twin flame, his mind was still there. And there's this moon energy. I pulled the moon card. I pulled it out. And there it is. These cards don't lie. And like I said before, you can't make this up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he was in the King of Wands energy. I'm going to keep this turned over because he don't want to be in King of Wands energy with those people. I said I wasn't going to look at reversals, but I was told to keep that one like that. So I'm going to leave it. You don't want to be in that energy no more with them. So he is rushing forward. He's rushing forward. The angels are priding him. Telling him, come on, buddy. You know, you better straighten up and fly right. You know, you messing up. You know, because you haven't been standing in your truth. You've been, been lying to a whole bunch of people. Let's see. And that's funny because that's under Divine Feminine. He has been lying to Divine Feminine. Because he really wants Ten of Cups with her. He does. Even though he was with these other people doing stuff. Remember I said he was thinking about her because his hand is over there by those dolphins. So he, he wants to come forward in his truth. I think the angels are, are, are priding him. You know, telling them he need to act right. Let me see. Anything else before I move on? Let's see. Yeah, he wants... He wants to restart the wheel. The wheel of fortune. He wants to restart. He wants... He want, He is, is in the same spot. He wants to start over the fool's journey. Not being the you know, king of cups. I mean king of wands and he wants to start over and we can look at this in a whole another way also um divine masculine is in divine masculine is in he's thinking about divine feminine and he is in his hierophant energy and he knows he needs to um become a magician because he has been put in the cold, walked away. And while he's in that, you know, alone, he should be de um, working on his inner child issues. So he can come forward to his main female, Divine Feminine. Because he wants to offer her the world. And in doing so, he wants to offer, have a new beginning in, in his emotions. He wants to have a new emotional beginning. He wants to be focused on her, even though he's tied to this other situation. He, his eyes have always been on her. 
And so he's going into um, the Four of Swords. You know, he's mentally, he is mentally shutting down. Be, you know, so he, he wasn't standing in his truth. A lot of sore energy here. There's a lot of mental energy here. You know, he wasn't in his truth because he wants to he wants marriage with divine feminine. So he's gonna have to transform. And when he transforms, that means you know, whatever was going on in the past with that false person is gonna have to crumble down. So that he can have his two of cups with Divine Feminine. So he's going into Hermit mode right now. To fig, um, so and he's and while he's in Hermit mode, he's going to be thinking about how he can focus on his cups. That he thought he had lost. Because he wants Ten of Cups. He wants Ten of Cups and during, to get that Ten of Cups... He, he wants some money. Divine ma masculines love that money. They love money. And so he wants sudden wealth. He's going, he, he, that's what he wants. Because he feels that to have, he needs that money so that he can have two of cups with Divine Feminine. And, you know, that will help him emotionally. You know, men like, you know, how they say, you messing, when you mess with my money, you messing with my emotions. Yeah. This is what he want. Having that money would give him that. So he's, you know, he's going down into hangman mode. He's thinking, you know, thinking about divine feminine, even though, you know, his visual is with these other people. And he wants to be truthful. He wants to be truthful to divine feminine. About this false person. Been dealing with this false person. He got a false person that he's been dealing with. You know. And he been building stuff. Or he built stuff. You know. He's been going with. You know. Doing stuff with this person. You know. And he thought it was hidden. It's probably other hidden stuff that's going on too. You know. Only he and him and, him and the higher power. And, and, and that person knows. But he wants to get out of that so he can have a new beginning. He wants to start over in the fool's journey. He wants to get out of this King of Cups energy with this false person. You know, he wants to reset. And, you know, what is this? This is the um, Wheel of Fortune. He wants to reset his Wheel of Fortune with Divine Feminine. Wow. So that's why the um, Divine Masculine is asking for the angels to watch over him. Um, let's see. Wow. Um, so what do the spirit guys have to say about this? What do the spirit guys have to say about this? He needs to forgive himself. He needs to forgive himself. And he needs to get his power back from that, that the false person. He needs to get his power back because he relinquished it. And she is just, she thinks she's in charge, large and in charge. But he, that's because he gave up his power to her. So the angels are here to help him. And even though, you know, he's dealing with some issues, he's trying to keep kind about it. He needs to get out. And he needs to follow the golden rule. Do on to others as you wish them to do on to him. And, but, you know, apparently, whatever energy he was in, he was in some time. I'm surprised the devil didn't pop up in the reading. I probably would have if I would have kept it up. But anyway, he needs to be patient. That's what the angels are telling him. The angels are telling him, you need to be patient. You know, but we'll get you out. We'll help you get out. We won't get you out. But you got to listen. Let's see. Uh, death is only a, an illusion. You know, he, divine masculine is worried about some things. 
and um, he needs to have an attitude of gratitude because he wasn't really grateful about some things. And that's part of why he's dealing with what he's dealing with right now. He needs to release this toxic relationship. That's what's going on. The angels are telling him he needs to get rid of it. You, get, you can't, you know, you can't be blessed as long as you're staying in the mess. But also, he needs to know not to judge anybody, you know. Judge not least you be judged yourself. You can't, you can't judge people. How you gonna take somebody's speck out of their eye when you got a, a log in yours? Inspire others. You know, if he can get out of this, he can use this lesson as a way to inspire others so that they don't make the same mistakes that he did. Let's see. That's what the angels are hoping he'll do. They're watching over him. They're trying to protect him. Let me see. Anything else? Yeah, he should make each day count. Being positive. Even though he's in that situation, you're supposed to praise, you know, be thankful during the good times and the bad times. But at the same time, practice moderation. So he needs to get out of that devil energy. Let me see what else. Uh, what else? Why? What else do the um, angels need to tell us? You know, the angels are watching over him to help him heal the relationship. He got a lot of relationships he needs to heal. Family, personal, business, just with himself. You know, so divine masculine. This turned into a divine masculine reading. He needs to learn how to develop healthy boundaries. Because that was what got him in trouble with the false person. He felt that he, you know, he didn't understand that there are boundaries that you shouldn't cross with people. And he just felt that he could just do it and not have any type of repercussion. But he finding out, you play with the devil, give him an inch, they will take a mile. And that's what's going on with him right now. He's dealing with a lot. The angels are healing him. They are healing him. Trying to make sure that he understands that he needs to have gratitude. Even though he's in a dark space right now. Let's see what else. The angels are watching over us. They watching. They're trying to give them some compassion because some of these divine masculines were out cold. They didn't. They were very uh, petty. They had no compassion. They were mean. Very mean. Heartless. But why he going through this, you know, that's probably why why he's going through what he's going through. Because he thought he was uh, um, immune to whatever that false person was doing to him. But he needs to know that he's going through a rites of passage. If he does the right thing, he's going. he'll be going through a rites of passage. And that's, that will help him create healthy boundaries with people. Um, healthy body. A lot of these divine masculines are not taking care of their bodies. They are not. You know, they're supposed to mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. But that's because they were dealing with this false person. The false person, they forget about things, you know. You know, the angels are watching over them, but they're trying to help them to forgive, too. You know, because some of them, they don't forgive. They remember and they hold it against you forever. And that help that that hurts them as well. Let's see. Anything else before I move on? You got anything else? 
anything else. Yeah, see, lovers. They're working with him on that. He, you know, they're looking. This is a soul connection crystal. So the angels are trying to help him understand he needs to have compassion and heal his relationship with his lover or lovers. Is he getting out of, you know, how you, I won't even get into that. Anyway, so some of the divine masculines have more than one false person. They got false people. All right. He needs to heal emotionally. I just spoke about that. You know, a lot of them are not healthy. They're mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. They're not healthy. And they need to get, you know, they, the angels are trying to get, get with them. Because they have a life purpose they need to do. Whatever they was building with the other, with the false person was not, is not their, what their calling is. They're not supposed to be with that person. They're supposed to be doing God's work. They're doing false person's work. And when they get on their life purpose, it will give them abundance. Whatever it is they had with the false person will be nothing compared to what is their life purpose will bring them. It will give them pressed down, shaken together, and running over abundance. But they got to accept, you know, the healing, the healthy, learning how to have appropriate boundaries. Um, they got to learn how to accept that they're going through a rites of passage. They got to learn how to forgive. They got to have gratitude. Because a lot of these masculines were not that way. They were horrible. I hate to even say it like that, but they just were, they weren't very nice men. You know, some, they were nice until they couldn't get what they wanted. And a lot of times, a lot of them use their sexuality to get what they wanted, which is unfortunate, you know. That's how they got with that false person, and that's why they're dealing with all of that. They need to accept that that's what they used, and that's why they need to have healthy boundaries. And they need to, you know, all of that stuff. They ruined their, um, not ruined, but messed up their, um, their peace of mind. You know, it, it changed everything. And once they can do that, they'll have peace. Because they'll be in their life purpose. And they'll be abundant. one more a lot of the divine masculines are teachers and the angels have been trying to tell him this or them this for the longest but they don't pay attention they probably don't even believe it believe that it's angels they probably think it's you know just a, a figment of their imaginations I'm going to keep that. That's a spirit animal. A rabbit. Yes. A lot of these divine masculines was in that rabbit mode. You know what they say about rabbits. They multiply. So a lot of these divine masculines have babies. A lot of babies. Let me see what else. Since you've been popped up like that. I'll go here. Wow. Let's see. Anything else? Any other spirit animal you want to come up? I wasn't even going to go there. Okay, I'll take these. Swans mate for life. Earthworms. I don't really... Earthworms, you can cut them and they will still live. There'll be two. And it looked like this one got a band-aid on them. 
So maybe this one is still, um, he just injured. So, you know, divine masculine's only injured. He hasn't been separated. Really interesting. Let me see if I, I'll pull, see if anything else pops out. Not, we'll move on, because I wasn't going to pull that card from this deck. Divine Masculines are going through a transformation. They are in butterfly mode, you know, but their wings might not be strong enough yet. The ones that are paying attention. You know, when you change into a butterfly, that means that you spread your wings and you fly. You know, you've changed from a um, an inchworm. Wow. So maybe they've, no, that's not really how that goes. But anyway, my mind is somewhere else. Um, yeah, but they, they're changing into who they're supposed to be. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. The angels are also showing them some other things. Let's see what else. So they're showing them. What else? Angels, what else are you showing divine masculine? Since we know this is a divine masculine reading now. Anything else in this deck? Wow, that popped out. Where'd it go? Oh no. All the way under here. Oh no, back here. The angel. The angels are offering assistance. If you pay attention. They are offering him assistance. He need to ask. Ask the divine masculine. Your angels are right there to help you. What do you think about when you see a cat? You think about somebody that's... Some people say sneaky. Because cats are sneaky. But they're highly intelligent. And they're highly focused. Their minds, you know, it's a lot going on in their minds. And they are very silent. Cats are not no noisy animals. So maybe the um, angels are showing him how to be quiet. While he gets away from that false person. Maybe that's what's going on. Anything else? I'm still bonding with this deck. I was going to do a different kind of spread before. Like I said, I was going to do something else with these cards and use them a different way. But let's, you know. Okay. The angels are showing him that he has power. And he can get out of the situation with the false person. He can get out of it. He's a very powerful being light worker star seed and he has the ability to change his mind if he changes his mind he can get out of the situation with the with the karmic and it's funny all these all these car cars like this that's the karmic never mind going from the original setting these cars go they're going with 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 the same role with the tarot cards. With the story. I just said he was a star seed. Divine masculine is a star seed. He ain't an average Joe. He trying to ignore it. But he's not an average Joe. And the angels are trying to tell him. He has a lot of knowledge. Look at that. It's just his mind is very creative. And it's coming from up high. They're sending him the information. There's, the angels are sending him the information. But I don't know if he's listening. They are sending him prayers. He needs to be praying. There's a lot of people praying for Divine Masculine. 
It's a lot of people praying for him, praying for him to not be, you know, to open his third eye. Because once he does that, he'll be able to shift the frequency. But he can't do nothing if he ain't, you know, if he's in that stubborn state of being. He can't, he can't do it. You know, because if he shifts, if he does the frequency shift, he will be almost out of whatever this dark night of the soul that he's going through. That's a bat. Bats fly during and at night. And they can see, you know, mo they can't, they can't fly during the day they normally fly at night because they and they don't i don't even know if they use their eyes then it's just that they have a frequency something and the way that they're created is that they can um do better at night you know um, their senses will allow them to be able to fly freely at night whereas during the day not so well not so well but he's almost at the end. He's almost out of whatever he's out of. And if he does that, he you know, he needs to recognize this. There's healing. There's the sun. It's a lot of things going on. Once he understands that he's almost at the end, he'll have the healing and the um the sun and the um um, wish his wishes he needs to listen to music his music will show him the way anything else divine masculine is divine he knows he's divine if he does all this this will show him his divinity his true divinity because he's the positive divinity let me put it that way because he was he divine but he was divine for the devil or for the negative energy you know he needs to balance out some stuff that's what the frequent that's what the shift is for to help balance him out change your mind that freaking that that frequency shift will help him change his mind and get into his divinity. All right, let me get out of this. Um, I have two new decks that I've never used before. I'm gonna use them today. Let's see what this does. I don't know these cards. I mean, this is my first time shuffling with them. So we'll see why are the angels watching us especially divine masculine why are the angels watching over us right. let's see maybe you might not want to come in this message and oh there we go the angels are watching over us because they're sending messages. They're sending messages to Divine Masculine. They want him to know that he is loved, even you know, in spite of what he's done. And that he has the freedom. He's free. He can get out of what he's in. They're showing him how to do it. But some of them are scared to do it. A lot of them are scared to do it. A lot of them have a fear of change. Let's see. Oh, I feel like I got to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what that means. Maybe I'm clearing out some stuff. Maybe I'm helping Divine Masculine get rid of some stuff. What else? Anything else that you want to say? Uh, 
Archangel Michael is here to help him. If only he would pay attention. A lot of them don't even understand that. A lot of them think that's devil energy, but no. The angels are watching over us to make sure that they know that they're not alone. They've been coming to him in his dreams. These angels have been coming to Divine Masculine in his dreams. I don't know if he's listening. They're letting him know he's safe. Divine masculines need to explore more. That's what the um, Archangel Michael is there to, to help him. You know, they want, they're sending him love through his, through his dreams. You're, he's safe, you know, he's freedom, free to be safe. And Archangel Michael was telling him to explore because he's not alone. There are ways for him to get out of whatever situation he's in. And they want him to share his wisdom. The, the angels are watching over him to help him share his wisdom. Or show him how to share his wisdom. Alright, that's the debut of these cards. Let's see, I got another new deck. I've never used this. This will be the first time that I've used this deck on, on the, my channel. And these cards are a little stiffer than, than the other ones. Anything else? I don't know how I'm going to use these cards. Let's see. They're kind of hard to shuffle. All right, angels. for these a little bit more. It's a new deck. A very new deck. Uh, oh, I'll take these. They flipped over. These are the t these um wow. They told him this is the drum, dream and journey. So he's safe. He's safe to dream and journey. He, you know, he has to travel in his mind. And in the autumn, this is when all of this, whatever he's dealing with is going to be over. Release the old and rest. He needs, by autumn, that should happen. And either he's a sage or there is a sage assisting him. Be devoted and committed. He needs to be devoted and committed to getting out of that energy, getting out of that devil energy, and getting away from that uh, false person. Let me see. I'll try again. Let's see. Anything else before I get out of this? These are hard to shuffle. These are this is the last two decks were brand new. Okay, I'll take these and then I'm done with this. Um, oh, divine feminine is here. She's come in, showed up. She's gonna help him harness this mystical power if he, you know, if he get himself together. But they're and they're probably going to do it through um, dreams and journey. 
He needs to shed the old skin. That old skin is being with that false person. So he can be new. You know. And there's a wise one. You know, he'll become wise. He will grow old, grow within his current situation. He'll become a wise one. And he will embrace the energy of peace by breaking the arrow. Because, you know, he's been stabbed, you know, so with them swords. I didn't have any swords with him when, you know, I didn't keep going. But, yeah, he's been stabbed so many times. He'll be able to get out of the situation with the false person. Oh, look at that. False person trying to mess with it by embracing the energy of peace. And... By summer, once he's done, completely healed himself, by summer he'll be able to bask in joy and light. Or, you know, it's still summer now. You know, he might be able to do that right now. Oh, excuse me. Let me see. A few more cards and then we're done. Some Ascendant Masters. Let's see what they have to say. Archangel Raphael and Malachi. He, they are going to give him grace for the grand gesture. So his grand gesture is getting out of, you know, if he can get out of his devil energy, they'll be able to help him. Because this is a lot of green. So that's the heart. You know, if he can get out of the devil energy and get out of whatever he's in with that false person, you know, He'll have grace for whatever he's done, but you know, he's gonna he's gonna have to do it. He's gonna have to do it. And what do what is this rebel message? What is the message? Oh, there we go. Shock of the new. He'll be a new person. And a lot of people are gonna be shocked when he does it. When he ends and gets out of that devil energy. A lot of people will be shocked with who he really is. Uh, last message. Last message. What does he need to do? Lavender. It's a lavender stone. I don't know if, even know if I have that card, that book by me. But lavender is a relaxing stone. 37. Do I have that? Do I have that? A lot of the divine masculines don't know how to relax. They don't know how to um, self-care. They don't know how to do a lot of things. So a lot of them need lavender to help them relax. If you spray lavender on your pillows at night on your sheets... It will help you go to sleep. That's 37. And this is a multi-dimensional integration stone. Lavender Argonite. Environmental healing. Lavender Argonite. Argonite heals your personal environment and Earth's meridian grid and raises the vibrations of the planet. So wherever he is sleeping, he needs, you know, he needs to have some healing in his home. And he needs to become comfortable in his own body and environment because he's, in, he's incarnated to be a guardian for the planet. He is a vehicle for purifying and healing the Earth reminding others that it is a sacred loving living being to be treated with respect pay attention to where you live within yourself do your inner housekeeping and nurture yourself inner child work he needs to do that he needs to become a vehicle for healing the environment by opening himself to higher vibrational energies yeah because he's in a low low vibration when he's with that false person he's in a low vibrational energy and he's not supposed to participate in anything that 
despoils the planet or diminishes its resources. Work with his power animal and nourish his inner being. Take no risk and avoid excesses. And that's, he was, you know, he got to get out of the devil energy. Um, if his environment is unhealthy and disharmonious, it cannot support well-being. Transform it and well-being returns. So once he get out of the devil energy or whatever he's with, with that false person and gets into a higher vibrational energy, um, he will, you know, be healed again. And this chakra is for the alliance, the earth star, base, third eye, and star, star, soul star, and stellar gateway. And this is during Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius. And what it does, it heals the environment. Um, this is the end of the, of the, re, the musical reading. Um, so far I see that the clock is still spinning, so that... So the karmic or, or devil energy has not bothered this video. Um, I'm, whoever watches this, I hope that you are going to be blessed by it. I pray that you um, can share it, save it, um, like it, make a comment on it, um, and let me know you know your how you feel about with with these videos. Let me know if this is something you would like to see more of. Um, I'm being shown new gifts day by day. And some of them I show on here, I do a lot of my light, my light work in the real, you know, in world face to face with people. Um, this is just something that I like to do. This is a part of my bliss here on YouTube. I do this for fun. This is a lot of fun for me. Cause I can one day I think I'm gonna pull up some rap and I'm gonna um pull the cards for that and see how that works out. But um Again, thank you for stopping by. I hope that this message for the Divine Masculines is heard. I'm hoping that it will help heal them. Until next time, you all take care. Peace.